What is up, everyone? This is Mitchell Saltzman, and welcome oh, to Fall well, I recently had a chance to go hands-on with the Outer Worlds and thought it might be fun to give you guys a bit of a tour of the sights and sounds of one of the major towns of the game, as well as give you a brief introduction to the people that live there. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and enjoy. Make a run with me to Stella Bay? Boss lady told me to take the night off. Nope, I'm beat. Just got back from delivering to that house with the strange family. The ones that always smell like raw meat and got splotches of blood on them? Yep, oddest thing. I started ordering cans of Borstwurst, but only if they come from the C&P factory. Makes you wonder what the secret ingredient is. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policy. Buy one, get one half off. We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Oh. It's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Usually character actors or corporate execs with menacing stares. That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with her sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rack. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. for high quality and low prices. Pick one for your purchase. Do you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. No refunds, no exchanges, no returns. And no whining about it either. Do you bloody it, you buy it. Town sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Proves bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. But now that you mention it, I reckon she had her reasons to hide us. We got 
smugglers, outlaws, mavericks, and Byzantium socialites flying in and out of Fallbrook all the time. Why openly spin in the board's eye? It might be that you're right. But I got no reason to trust you with the truth, now do I? Maybe if you were a better friend of Sublight. Ask me again if your standing with Sublight improves, and I'll feel more obliged to answer. Uh-huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work hard to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? Against my better judgment, I do believe you. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed forced king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forced factory. Owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid son-of-a-bitch who's gonna get it for me. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Boy, if I know. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sissy pig, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machine. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, See Duncan in a dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. I don't think I like Miss Hackle. Not just on account of the swearing, though she swears awful much. She's fine. Well, so long as you ain't on her bad side. Then she's liable to drown you in the waterfall. Feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes.
hungry. I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? <laughs> well, you do look like the honestly dishonest type. By which I mean my favorite customer. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope. Not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require...